वेलकम एवरी वन हैव यू यूर फील लाइक यू आर स्टक इन हैबिट रूटीन एंड लैक ऑफ मोटिवेशन वी आर नो मेटर हाउ हार्ड यू आर ट्राइंग द सेम ओल्ड हैबिट एंड पैटर्न कीप होल्डिंग यू बैक डोंट वरी इट हैपन विद एवरी वन यू हैव अ पावर ऑफ री वायर योर ब्रेन एंड ब्रेक फ्री इट्स नॉट हार्ड टू गेट आउट फ्रॉम द मेंटल रूट and move towards success so today we learn how to control and make use of the brain ability to adapt and grow using proven strategy like mindfulness learning and even exercise so are you ready to unlock your brain power and create the life you want let's dive in let me introduce you to the brain remarkable ability that is called neuroplasticity so neuroplasticity is a brain capability to continue growing and evolving in response of life experience think of your brain is like a muscles just as exercising a specific muscles makes them stronger and more efficient practicing a skill or habit strains the brain neurons associated with action over time these neuron connection become more refined similarly if you stop using certain area of brain then it become weak much like on huge muscles neuroplasticity is essential workout plan for your brain allowing you to build mental strength in area you want to improve whether it focus positivity or learning new skill so how can you start building that brain power let's dive into the first tools called mindfulness you have probably heard about it it's a bit of a slogan but there is a reason behind it's so popular mindful is like becoming the observer of our thoughts and feeling it's about noticing what happening in our head without getting involved let's understand with an example you are sitting in a busy cafe and your mind starts battling with worries about upcoming presentation or exam instead of rising into anxiety you can take a deep breath and notice those thoughts The simple act of seeing can help break the cycle of negative thinking and create a space for more positive productive thoughts. You know you can practice mindfulness anytime anywhere. Try focusing on your senses while you are walking in the street. What do you see here a smell? This awareness can help pull you out of autopilot. and make you more present in your daily life okay my friend so far we have learned how mindfulness can interrupt negative thought patterns if you are still with me great you are already rewiring your brain just by paying attention so how can you make powerful your brain growth even more by learning something new let me explain why Actually our brain love novelties and learning new thing activate our brain neuronal pathway it doesn't matter if it is a new language a new skill a musical instrument or simple dance move these activities stimulate our brain and help create a new connection another effective way to rewire your brain for success is through exercise physical activity release feel good chemical like dopamine which not only boost your mood but also enhance cognitive function additionally the challenge of learning new physical skill whether it perfecting a yoga pose improving your tennis serve or even diving into a reading book a lot help create fresh neuronal pathway but rewiring our brain isn't just about adding new stuff it also about changing how you think about yourself and your abilities this is where the concept of growth mindset comes in
Let's have a hypothetical scenario where two students face a challenging math problem. One thing, I am just not good at math and give up. The other thing, this is challenging but I can figure it out if I can keep trying. That second student has a growth mindset. He believe, he or she believe their ability can improve with the effort and practice. You know the key of rewiring your brain is something you do every day but probably take for a granted. So I stick around, I will explain how this one habit can transform your mindset. It's not just about what you add you to your routine, it's also about how you think about yourself. Developing a growth mindset is like allowing yourself to be a work in progress. It's about viewing challenge as an opportunity to learn and grow rather than a threat to our self-image. When you approach life this way, failure turns into the valuable lesson and the obstacle become opportunity to problem solve and improve your life. Now you might be thinking this all sound great but my brain is already set. Can I really change now? The answer is yes but it does take some effort and consistency and that's why the affirmation and visualization comes in the play. So affirmation and visualization are powerful techniques for rewiring our brain. Our brain are incredibly responsible for to the story we tell ourselves. If you can constantly tell ourselves I am not good enough or I will never succeed, our brain start to believe on it. But you know you have a power to flip the script. Start by identifying some of these negative self-talk pattern. Maybe you often think I am travel at public speaking. Try to replace that with a positive affirmation. Like I am improving my public speaking every day. It might feel a bit fake at first but I stick with it, say it a lot, write it down and try to touch it. You have probably seen some actor, athlete or a sport person like Serena Williams or Michael Phelps, Sachin Tendulkar, MS Dhoni talking about visualization. Now here how you can use it to excel in everyday life. Visualization goes hand in hand with affirmation. Athletes use this technique all the time. Before a big game, they visualize themselves performing perfectly, scoring the winning game, winning goal or breaking a record. We can do the same thing in our daily lives. Visualize yourself nailing that presentation, doing well in that job interview or achieving whatever goal you are working towards. The key here is to make this visualization bright and detailed. You can engage all your senses. What do you hear? What do you feel? The more accurate you can make it, in our mind, the more our brain will believe it is possible. Try this for the next week. Replace just one negative thought with a positive affirmation. I guarantee you will feel the difference. So my friend, imagine waking up every day feeling unstoppable, fully in control of your mind and goal. This isn't just a dream. You can achieve it by rewiring your brain. When you rewire your brain, you are not just changing habit, you are changing your life. Start with a small step. For example, if you want to become a morning person, don't immediately force yourself to wake up at 5 am. Instead of, set your alarm 15 minutes earlier than usual. Once that becomes the comfortable, gradually adjust it by the another 15 minutes. Over time, these small consistent changes will help you build lasting positive habit and ultimately rewire your brain for the success. So the key is consistency. It's better to do something small daily than something big occasionally. And over the time, this small action 
add a new neuronal pathway in your brain. Another powerful tool for rewiring our brain is changing our environment. What if I told you that the changing your surrounding can literally change your brain? Let's see how this works. Our surrounding have a significant impact on our thought and behavior. For example, suppose you are trying to eat healthier, simply rearranging your kitchen to put more nutritious food at the eye level can make a big difference. This applies to our social environment too. The people we are surrounded ourselves with play a crucial role to shaping our thoughts, behavior and ultimately our success. By spending time with those who inspire and challenge us, we allow their attitude and the habit to positively influence our own growth. Similarly, how we handle stress can also significantly impact our success. Stress isn't always bad guy. With the right mindset, it can become a powerful tool. While we often view stress something like negative, a manageable level can actually enhance brain function helping us stay focused and motivated. Like choosing the right people to be around, it's about the finding the right balance to turn stress into a force and drive us toward my, towards our success. The key is learning how to manage stress effectively. This is where the technique like a deep breathing, meditation and regular exercise comes in handy. And these practice can help Activate our body relaxation response, countering the effect of stress. You know, rewiring your brain is easier than you might think. And the best time is start now. The longer you wait, the harder it became. So why wait? You can begin rewiring your brain right now by doing one simple thing. Pause this video and take a deep breath. Slowly exhale and repeat this process for two minutes. So once you are ready, continue watching till the end where we will explore the several powerful tools designed to help your rewire your brain and enhance your focus. One important aspect to consider in this journey is how we pursue stress. Instead of viewing stress as something negative, try to see it as a, your body preparing to meet the challenge. The racing heart it's getting oxygen to your brain. Those sweaty palms, they are cooling you down so you can perform better. By making this simple shift in perspective, you can significantly change how stress affects your body and brain. In addition to reframing stress, there is another habit you can start right now to surcharge your brain every day. Cultivating curiosity. So developing a sense of wonder about the world around you provide your brain with a constant stream of stimulation, ask questions, explore new ideas and remain open to different perspectives. This approach not only makes life more exciting but also helps create a new neuronal connection and further enhancing your mental ability. Moreover, this journey of the personal growth can be depends through the practice of empathy and kindness. When you engage in the act of kindness or put ourselves in someone else's shoes, it activates area of the brain associated with pleasure and reward. Now let's remember the power of creativity. So engaging in the creative activity, whether painting, writing, cooking or solving puzzles, can help create a new neuronal connection and improve cognitive flexibility. It's like a mental gymnastic for our brain guys. Now here is a big one, sleep. Let me show you why sleep is so important. While you sleep, your brain is busy consolidating memories, processing information and clearing out toxin. A scheme on sleep and you are sabotaging your brain ability to rewire itself. Establishing a consistent sleep schedule and creating a relaxing bedtime routine are essential steps for maintaining optimizing brain function. So guys, now last but not least, the power of gratitude. 
Regularly practicing gratitude can change the structure of our brain over time. It helps shift our focus from the negative to positive, which can profoundly impact our overall well-being and success. Each day, write down three things you are grateful for. They don't have to be big things. It could be as simple as good cup of coffee or cup of tea or a kind of word from the stranger. Over time, you will naturally notice more positive things in your life. And remember my friend, rewiring our brain for a success does not change who we are. It's about enhancing our strength and developing new skills to help us reach our full potential. So start small, pick one or two strategies and try incorporating them into your daily life. Be patient with yourself, celebrate the small victories along the way. Before you know it, you will start noticing positive changes in your thoughts, behavior and overall outlook. So rewiring your brain start with one small step. So what is the first habit you are going to change? Comment below and let's support each other on this journey. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video.